everyone. I'm going to be doing a pour tonight that is using up Creative Place paints. So we'll start here and this is a mixture of approximately equal parts crimson and what is it? Cadmium yellow hue. So that gives it a really nice kind of deep rust orange color. This is the same paints, but this is um, probably 90% 90, 90 of the cadmium yellow hue and 10% of the crimson. Okay, this, as you can see, there's only a little bit left in there. But we will use it just to use it up. That's the cadmium yellow hue. Okay, titanium white. That's there. And going with the titanium white is this light blue. So this is ultramarine deep with titanium white added to it and this one is the ultramarine deep on its own then we go back to dun, dun, dun. okay this is hooker's green dark and i know right it's like how many paints do you want to use so all of these why not um, right, what's this one? This is the emerald green. So that's on its own. And this is emerald green and the cadmium yellow hue mixed for that beautiful lime. And a turquoise that I made up from the ultramarine deep and the hooker's green dark with a dash of titanium white added to that. Whew, that'll all be listed in the description box below as well. But hey, you know, nothing like talking through the paints. It makes things a little bit easier. Okay. I had a friend go shopping and she found this silicon uh, what is it sink strainer and so she bought it for me to try the sink strainer pour so oh, I catch my breath I'm a little bit excited and I'm actually at said friend's house right now so that she can see how it goes and what result we get okay so we're using an old record album. There are a lot of fingerprint markings on there, but I have run out of, what is it? Da, 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 da. Isopropyl alcohol to clean it off, but I have sprayed over the labels, front, oh, I was going to say and back, but apparently not, um, with a matte black spray paint okay make sure that's in the right spot for you and so all of these paints are mixed with my pouring medium mixture which is made up of um, one part atelier pouring medium and one part floetrol then i mix it in with the paints as one part paint one part pouring medium mixture um what else is there we're not using any silicon in this pour as the blooming of the cells would take away from the pattern that i've seen some of these create and uh, i can't even guarantee that this will come out the same way but that's what we're here for, to give it a go and check it out. All right. 
Okay, now the other thing that we decided for this one was that once the cup is full of paint, we're actually going, instead of pouring in, which I've seen many, many other artists do, um, or adding the colours individually, I'm going to fill the cup and then do the whole flip. And then, so the bulk of the paint will just sit there and waiting for it to seep out those holes. So, so I feel like we go, drum roll please. Well, we will at the time maybe. Okay, so now just putting the cup together. And start with a bit of white. As we go along, I'll move these paints in order. Wiping off my fingers in between. So I'm looking at using about half of what's in the container. And for this bit. And then we'll jump to totally random choices in colour here. getting full oh. and blue not putting blue next to orange a bit of yellow dark green this is going to be one very full flip cup Blue and last color emerald green. Ooh. Okay, oh. wow, I feel like I've just got to compose myself a little bit, you know, when you're trying something new and you just want to like. So now I really want to just pour it because I'm scared to flip. Look at that. chock a block full. Okay. We've got it down to three, two, one. Oh, sweet. Straighten it up a little and just wait for it to flow out those holes. Coming, it's spreading. Let me see if I can bring you closer. Oh, around this side, we've got some colors. coming, it's coming. Oh, it's so slow. <laughs> like tick tock, tick tock. What if? If I give it a little squeeze. Oh, I can see more coming. I'm just squeezing that a little bit more, a little bit more. 
Once the squeezing breaks the seal, I'll lift it up. There we go. <clears throat> Look at that outside of the cup. Alright, do, do, do. You can see in the shadow section that there's some bits coming out. But what I'm noticing is it's not coming out the same um, with that same petal like effect, whether or not that was just because of the flip cup style. Whether or not, <clears throat> excuse me, this strainer has less holes than others. Um, yeah, it could be many things. So I'll pop you back up onto the shelf. We are getting some of the effects in here. I don't really want to tilt it yet. Okay. Some more effects over here. Okay, I'm going to lift it up, put it straight back on the top of this cup without leaving drips behind, preferably. So I can find a. Ooh, ooh, that's pretty on the inside of the cup. Strainer, it's not a cup. All good. There's a love heart in there. Oh my gosh. I have to show you the love heart. Just wiping my hands before I touch the, the camera. Okay, look. How's that? Sweet as candy. That middle section is amazing. Okay. There we go. Now I am a little afraid to spread it around, but I will pop the bubbles first. I love that love heart. I love love. Mm. So I'm going to, with this one, try to keep the weight in the center. Spread it downward, bring it back to the center, sorry. Thrilled, actually. 
turn that around so you can see. Oh, excuse my stomach. Guess what? <laughs> there we go. Wow. I am stoked. That is awesome. The love part for the better part of it is still there. That's even sweeter. The colours. I am not even worried about the colours here that may look a little bit muddied with that orange over them. Because I think everything else just Voila, what can I say? I'm thrilled. <sighs> so, I will just, now that I've spread it out, I will just pop any more bubbles. Which has, a, has brought up some cell-like features. Um, some look pretty amazing actually. Okay, I'm going to bring you down and give you a close-up. How is that? These colors are amazing. There's some beautiful lines. Some of these cell cells that are in there. That one there. Oh, they're popping up all over the place. Very cool. Not what I was going for, but these ones happened naturally with the paint without using any silicon or anything, so that's okay. Oh, look at that. Like a um a cell in outer space. Duh. How does it get any better than that? I love it. I love the colours. I love the centre. I love love. And wow. So thank you so much to my friend for buying this for me. She saw it. She was just like, oh, Tracy could use that. And I was like, yes, absolutely, I could. Sorry for a bit of movement. I'm trying to get you back into focus. Okay. And it's not working. Why is it not working? Okay, so sorry about that. I will keep playing with that a second. So yes, thank you very much to my supportive friend. Thank you very much to my support, supportive subscribers. Um, and if you enjoyed that, please give me a thumbs up and leave me a comment in down below and share it with anybody that you know might appreciate that kind of thing. Okay, I'm putting it down because now I'm shaking. All right. So there we have it. Thanks so much for watching. I do apologize big time for this out of focusness that I'm struggling with right now. And I will take some photos and put them at the end of it so that it's nice and clear for you. Thank you for your patience with that, and remember, wherever you are, be fabulous. Bye.